When you're growing up, there's always that one kid in the neighborhood that has all the toys, and they have the latest gadgets. And for some, for some unknown reason, they're never ones to share all that much. And it used to drive me crazy, because that kid in our neighborhood was a little, little boy named Colin. And I distinctly remember one day going home, and I was upset, a little forlorn. My mom noticed that. And she said, what's wrong? And I said, well, Mom, Colin's got all these neat toys, and he's got all the latest gadgets, and he never wants to share. Life isn't fair. And boy, she zeroed in on me like a laser. A little five foot one inch Italian lady, five feet one. And she goes, what did you just say? I said, it's not fair. Life isn't fair. <laughs> Who told you life was fair? <laughs> did your father tell you life was fair, Tom? And he said, I'm watching the game. Get in here. <laughs> Six foot two, 250 Irishman. She's running the household. <laughs> she zeroes in on him. Did you tell your son that life was fair? No. Go back to your game. <laughs> now it's just me and her. He says, I want to tell you something right now. We're not the Rockefellers. We're not the Vanderbilts. We don't walk outside, pick money off a tree. Life isn't fair, and don't ever think it is. But you were born in this country, and you can make something of yourself if you just apply the effort. Work hard and work smart. And I better never catch you at night praying to God, asking Him for the things you don't have. You better clasp your hands together and thank Him for the things you do. And I said, yes, mama. <laughs> and then she left. But I applied that, because as a teenager, my parents were public school teachers. They're retired now. And I applied that. And I did not go out and get a job. I went out and got jobs with a Z on the end. And my wife asked me the other day, write them all down, because I think that'd be interesting. You should share that. And I never did that until a few weeks ago. And I was a paper boy, a stock boy, uh, a, a, a bus boy. I was a lifeguard. I worked construction. I was a janitor. I was a micro entrepreneur. I was a painter, a mover, a salesman. I cut carpets. I was one of those kids that wore the funny thing in college in the cafeteria. I was a cafeteria worker. And, and I was a store clerk as well. And a little micro entrepreneur trying to make a fast buck like Jackie Gleason used to do in the Honeymooners. <laughs> but you get jobs and you apply yourself. So when I graduated college, and that did work because I was able to get a scholarship to the University of Notre Dame. <laughs> this is Texas, so I didn't expect any applause there. <laughs> 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 You take that knowledge, and now I got eight years of the best leadership training you can get in the world, and that is in the United States military. 